The Neil Egress League is the final selection that the Blue Lock players have to get through before the official U20 Japan team will be created and head into the World Cup arc. While many have praised the Neil Equus League for being an amazing arc that has introduced many interesting characters, given us some of, if not the best, goals in Blue Lock, and turned many of our favorite Blue Lock players into world-class players, there has been a few complaints about this arc. But probably one of the biggest ones is that many people feel like the fact that there is a rule of each team only needing to score three goals in order to win a match really restrains the amount of things that the author can do within these matches. Matches. Since the author has to be really careful about which characters can score, and this has made it so only a few characters has been able to really shine in this arc, while others have been put on the back burner. This has also made many people question how the PXG match will work with this system. Since there are a lot of storylines, characters, and high expectations going into the PXG match, which has a lot of people of course excited for this match probably the most excited since the U20 Japan match, but it also has a lot of people questioning how the author can possibly fit all these things into one match, especially with the three goal rule. Since the two major storylines going into the match would be Kumagami vs Shido and Azaki vs Rin, where the main driver of both these storylines will be who can score more. Since first starting with Kumagami and Shido, Kumagami got eliminated during the second selection due to Shido beating him and Ryo in the 2v2 match, which forced Kumagami to have to go through wildcard, which completely changed his personality and has changed him into a much darker person, where his main drive going into matches is to score as much as possible, even if it means he has to steal goals from others. And his upcoming opponent, Shido, loves nothing more than scoring. So going into the PXG match, Kumagami will try to get his revenge on Shido by scoring more goals than him. And if the Equus 4 theory is true, where each of the Equus 4 will score the first goal in each of the NEL matches, then Kumagami would be the last one left from the group, and he should be scoring the first goal. But to truly beat Shido, he would have to score more than him, which would mean he would have to score another goal. But that would directly go into conflict with the other major storyline going into the match, which is Rin vs. Izaki. Rin vs. Izaki is a storyline we have seen in Blue Lock since all the way back at the beginning of the second selection. After Izaki is initially defeated by Rin, he declares that no matter what, he will beat Rin, and he got the opportunity to attempt that again during the 4v4 match in the second selection. But once again, Izaki would be bested by Rin and lose and Rin would basically be out of Azaki's reach for the rest of the arcs until after Azaki scores the winning goal in the U20 Japan match, when Rin would finally acknowledge Azaki as his rival. And with how much Azaki has grown in the Neo Equus League arc, this PXG match will be the first time we are truly going to see Azaki and Rin face each other at their most equal footing. And the way that Blue Lock would determine which of them is finally the better player and striker is by seeing who scores the most goals. Since Rin had his luck goal in the second selection, then Azaki had his luck goal in the U20 Japan match. So the PXG match will just be about pure skill of who can score. But as I stated earlier, with only three goals being the requirement needed in order to win a match, that means one of these storylines would have to get the short end of the stick. Since either the author prioritizes Kumagami versus Shido, meaning Azaki and Rin would have to get one goal each most likely, and that would just not feel satisfying for a storyline that has basically been the core of the Blue Lock story. Or the author prioritizes Rin versus Azaki and makes Kumagami and Shida only get one goal, which would leave many readers disappointed for one of the most anticipated showdowns in the manga. Plus, all of these issues are already showing up when I am only taking into account the two main storylines of this match. There is a possible Hiyori vs Karasu showdown. Kaiser would still be a major element of this match since I'm sure he wants to score even more in this match considering he lost to Izaki in Ubers and this would be his last chance to show off in the league. Plus other characters such as the possible new Gen 11 on PXG that has been theorized about or Loki who will most likely go for a goal in this match and so many other factors that could result in goals. So how exactly does the author fit in all these storylines and satisfy readers. 
Well, I think he will just get rid of the three goal rule for the PXG match. Since you have to remember that this is a fictional league that was created by Ego and the Blue Lock management team, so they can change the rules whenever they want. And we've already seen this on display with Izaki getting put on the field by the investors of Blue Lock. So this shows that the rules of the league are not concrete and can be changed. Since I'm sure the author put the three goal rule because he already knew this was going to be a huge arc and he probably wanted to put restraints with three goals so he would have to prioritize which characters he really wanted to focus on. But going into the PXG match, I'm sure he knows that there's a lot of expectations for it, which is why he puts so many good players on the PXG team, because he wants to make it into an amazing match to end off this arc. So honestly, taking the restraints off and removing the three goal rule and just going all out would be the best decision for the PXG match since it would make it into a U20 Japan type match where anything goes and anyone could score. Because part of what made the U20 Japan match so hype was the feeling of anyone could score. We had Nagi's goal, Rin's goal, Baru's goal, and eventually Izaki's goal. And that was just on the blue lock 11 side. So imagine if any of these goals had been taken out because of a three rule goal. It would make the U20 match feel less satisfying since all these go character goals were important and necessary for the story. So I think what will happen is as the PXG match is about to start, Ego will make an announcement that since this is the final match and he wants to see all the Blue Lock players show their best one last time to see who will get the highest value and be in the top 23 placements to make the U20 Japan team, he has decided that the 3 wheel goal will be taken away and they will play this match like any other match where each team can score however many goals they are able to within the match's time frame and that they can show their true value as a striker this way finally. This would be an extremely hype moment and solve the issue of which storylines the author should prioritize, since he could give equal attention to Shido vs Kamigami and Rin vs Izaki. Plus, other great moments such as possible goals for Loki, Hiori as a redemption for his missed goal on Ubers, and much more. Of course, this would be a lot of goals, and I'm not saying that they're all going to happen, but it would leave the author with endless possibilities, unlike the five goals he would be limited to in this match if the three goal rule remained. So rewriting the rules and just making it so that as many goals as possible is available for the PXG match truly is the best solution. But let me know what you think about this theory. Do you think the author would do a bold rule change like this for the PXG match? I mean, once again, this is a fictional league that was created to help the Blue Lock players grow. And a major rule change like this would definitely give the Blue Lock players the final growth they need. And PXG, the hype match that we know we want it to be. But I'd love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments. But one last issue that I feel like people would bring up with this theory is that doing something like this wouldn't be completely fair and bring up other issues such as the team that would be resting during the final week, which should be Ubers. But we have already seen that the people investing in this league care more about what will bring in views and money. So putting this rule for the last matches, especially when the last matches involves the two best teams in the league, would be more appealing than what is fair to the investors. Since even when Izaki was put on the field by the investors during the Bacha match, Yuki Mia called it out as unfair since he had better stats at that point than Izaki. But Noel Noah just dismissed what he said and said that fan service was more important. And nothing would bring in more fans, both in the Blue Lock universe and real life readers, than a crazy rule change like this. So if this happens, then I'm sure the author will just put in another condition so it's fair to all teams, such as Ubers, who have already would have played their last match at this point. Anyways, this is the end of my theory video. Shout out to Truther who gave me the initial video idea. I'll link his channel in the description so definitely check him out since he is making a lot of amazing content on his channel. It was fun to elaborate on this idea and I really hope this theory comes true since it would set up PXG to be the best match we have had since the U20 Japan match and would solve a lot of potential problems. So let me know if you would want something like this to happen as well or if you're fine with the three goal rules staying for the PXG match. Anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!